What you think like the difference is from uh, New York and Chicago? I feel like uh, the gun laws for real. We can't really be loose out here. Like it's a lot, and it's like more crowded. Like it's like everybody. Like you can't go down the block without seeing like 10, 20 people, thirty people. Yeah. So it's hectic. Like it's fast. Like feel me. So you gotta be on. Uh, yeah. Feel me. Shit. Chicago's over. You got alleyways. Ain't no alleyways out here. This shit straight. And then we got straight projects. Like Brazil, my hood is like the most neighborhood with like the all the projects type shit. So like. A nigga come spin your block, you running through the buildings, you doing shit like that. Like, you hopping gates. Yeah. Like, y'all got blocks. So if a nigga come spin your block and go crazy, there's no really where you could go type shit. That's how it is, nah, like, a best think, style type I shit. I think we might have more places to go because yeah. we got gangways. Y'all do got gangways, though. It's saying, like, I just seen blocks yeah. where it seems like if niggas pop out, yeah, these you blocks run the yeah, like our blocks. <laughs> yeah, like our blocks, that's what I'm saying, like, in the style, shit like that, crowd heights. Yeah. On our blocks, there's nowhere to go. You ain't going through no gangway. So like, but that's why I feel like happy that I lived in the peace type shit. Cause like you live in the projects, you yeah, go yeah. to cut through a building, go up the roof, come down, go on the other side of the hood. You Gucci, you feel me? But the niggas that live on those side blocks, that shit treacherous, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Like, Especially I, that block get busy. That shit treacherous. Ain't no way you going. That's how I grew up too. Like I ain't grew up in a good neighborhood. Yeah. But like, what I think people fail to realize, like neighborhoods like O Block, my hood basically. Yeah. The, the way it's constructed is similar to the O Block. Yeah. And they, don't get me wrong, they're not safe hoods, but yeah. like, I feel safer in O Block yeah. than I would on a regular, regular block. block. There's a couple of them hoods out here. Like one of the op hoods is like that. They got like the gate, yeah. the gate around their shit. It's like for me, like you gotta walk in, you gotta come inside. You gotta certain. risk your life for real. Yeah, but niggas still, spending, niggas still be spending, niggas still be spending shit. <laughs> like, that's what I'm saying, I can like, New York is brave. They brave, niggas is brave out here. There's so much cameras. Niggas flocking niggas on 42nd Street with the tills just be at. We just going crazy. So imagine if we just had open fill, all these people. It gotta be like this, cause there's so many people type shit. And shit still going on. Niggas still getting shot and this shit don't stop. But it's like, it's less, I feel like, I don't know. It's just wicked. Especially these Bronx niggas, they going crazy just showing shit up. So that shit just wacky all around, but there's not so many differences. We got like a different like bop us type shit. Y'all got different, for me, every, every, every town got like a different source to them, but all the same shit going on. Niggas yeah. beefing, niggas dying, niggas smoking, niggas beers. Y'all shit just way, like how you say it, it's way more busy. Cause like, yeah. Then the D's, I don't know how y'all D's is, but our D's is blessing. Yeah, hop it out, they, they come here, hop it out, boom, hop it out, hop it out, hop it out, hop it out. I don't so, know, like, if like it's, I, it's how y'all shit is, but they definitely thirsty. Yeah, they probably be, yeah, they, they, they're like, like imagine, like, if you're on their radar, like, boom, it's, it's that. you get stopped, they'll stop you, and you'll walk down the block, they'll stop you again, just because they know, like, you probably picked it up. Shit like that. And then you get three years. So, we still risking it, though. Like, niggas just blinked up. I ain't gonna lie. Functions, we, it's wicked. It's wicked out here. I ain't gonna lie. We just fuck it. Because niggas ain't trying to die. Niggas ain't trying to die. All right. So, yeah. I done, I done been shit. situations where like I'm in I'm, I'm in somebody car we riding. Yeah. I'm doing nothing wrong. A uh, car that it, that look regular. Yeah. They pulled up in a minivan. Pulled oh, up D's? in front of us. Yeah. Cut us off <laughs> like that. Like yeah, they be doing a bunch of funny shit like that. Guns to our face. Get the fuck out the car. Yeah. We we got license and insurance. We How much? Fuck. Get the fuck out the car. How much time y'all get from uh, poles out there? Pipes. Uh, one to three. But that's, that's like the same shit as us though. Type shit. Yeah. That's like, like I see a lot of y'all niggas coming home though. Yeah. When we be coming home too, like we bail out. I they, we gonna get that time, they gonna give us that time though. But a lot of niggas be being their gun cases out here. Like if you don't got no, uh, cause it's different laws. So now they can't really come hop out or certain, like say if you're in a cab, niggas be hopping out in cabs, booking niggas. Niggas to beat they shit. You not supposed to stop the cab type shit. Yeah. I be all Little shit like that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Niggas be beating they shit, so. Man, I ain't never spent no time and like for a gun. Yeah. Never spent over two days in jail. That's what I'm saying. And the time I did is because it was a holiday and a weekend and I couldn't go. Yeah, that shit normal type shit. shit. Yeah. But I feel like the now, I think y'all get, y get time for like switches and shit now type shit. Yeah, I, I heard that's like 10 year sentence. So this is yeah. the thing, right? Cause- I think Lil Zay was out here and got cold switches. I think he beat that shit or some shit, I don't know. You know how you were saying like shit different with the laws was yeah. like certain things people not gonna do because the time. Yeah. So like in Chicago, Switches everywhere, yeah. And niggas know it's a ten-year charge, but they still everywhere. Yeah, that's what I'm so saying. Like, basically, that's yeah. how it is. Like a gun out here is like a switch. 
A regular, I, a regular revolver out here is like, a, they give you Swiss top. I think that's like the difference with Chicago and a lot of places though. Yeah. Like, I think when people, when people from Chicago be saying I shit different, they think yeah. we're taking something from other right. niggas and it's like, nah, cause I travel. So I, yeah. I see like, I right, shit definitely going on here, going on there. Yeah, like you outside, you see like, right, anybody is wicked. I think the whole, like the drill, drill period made like, uh, the it's whole still world, different though. The whole world worse type shit. It's still different though, cause what I see niggas doing in Chicago, yeah, it's like it just it don't make sense. Like it's senseless. Like senseless, right? Like I certain things like it be like, bro, this just some real crash out stupid shit. Yeah, and like that's the do anything. I see is like yeah. you walking around. Well, it ain't stupid. I don't ever look at protecting yourself as stupid. Yeah, that's never like, that's never stupid. You walk around with a switch, knowing you. Uh, a felon, yeah. three time felon, whatever, and you know, in the minimum, you probably get right. 10 years. Like, something gotta be wrong with y'all yeah. mentally. Like, y'all just, if you know, niggas ain't, I know, but niggas, but Chicago, <laughs> niggas ain't, I feel like, niggas ain't trying to go. Niggas yeah. ain't trying to die. That's so, that's what it be. It's survival, bro. Yeah. That's just really, some niggas don't be even spinning blocks. Some niggas just be having it on just to make sure they good. Yeah. And I feel like if you most niggas, I, yeah. I know they not ride around with yeah. guns to go kill. Yeah, they just, yeah. all right, just in case a nigga brother boy be out. Yeah. I'm not going to be out here with nothing. What the fuck? In a lot of situations, even when a nigga did strike first and shoot a nigga, yeah. it wasn't because he wanted to. It's because he know what that nigga do. And yeah. that nigga know what you do. You got to move first. You got to. Shoot or get shot. Mm, bro. And the whole time, neither one of them probably won't shoot each other. It's just we gotta it's do what we gotta do. If I'm, gonna, if I'm gonna, am I gonna wait to see if you're gonna kill me? Hey, like you gotta pop it first. Bro. Shoot first, ask questions. Ask questions later. So would you say drill music increased the violence out here? Yeah, hey, like out here, everywhere. Like I even used to live, like shout out my Troy niggas and shout to live in Troy and shit. Even out there, they beef and goes. That's like an upstate, that's like a like upstate where it's supposed to be calm. You're supposed to go out there and be good. Everywhere is busting. Like the whole New York busting. Everybody just gets shot. Oh, we smoking this nigga, we want up. And I feel like that shit just crazy. But I feel like it's all over the all over the world. The whole shit just went up. Everybody wanna be have dreads and thirties and smoke ops and fuck dots and go crazy. So I feel like that shit just influenced niggas. And when that shit dropped, when Chief Keefer niggas dropped, I was like, uh, fuck it, like 14, 13, boom. So that shit influenced, like, bro, that's basically growing up. I'm outside, that's when I first coming outside. So we listening to Don't Like. And I've been listening to them shooting up shit. Like, I feel like Waka, Waka Flogger. Yeah. He, he, I feel he like he- inspired so so no. Yeah, I feel like he yeah. started on some, some, like, on some real drill shit. A lot of gun sounds and all that shit. Okay. Bow, like, if you know, you know, you understand? <laughs> so Waka, get Waka his flower. Cause I was, that was the first nigga we was bumping. Then Chief Keith and they, like, Chief Keith just put a different swag to what Waka was doing type shit out there. It's crazy, cause when I go back and listen to Waka, yeah. I be listening like, this this ain't a diss to him either. Yeah. But it's like the music wasn't really that raw, but yeah. it was like it was hidden. Like yeah, the ad libs and yelling and ah. But so the that's like, the, yeah. like hey, and then when you ask some Chicago niggas like yo, who you was bumping? They say Gucci Walker. So it's like we know where it's like. For me, I ain't gonna say he started drill, but like, like you know, it's the same with Chief Keep though. Like yeah. for the most part, he ain't really too like be on a lyrical shit. Yeah. Where it's like. Damn, what he said was just raw as hell. He just flipped this word with this and that. Yeah, but good music type shit. It's like the it's like the swag. I you got to see yeah, swag. Then the niggas like, what's the people like you? They like you. Like, you see how they came with BET Awards? That was big too. Yeah. Shout out to Tyler Payne for that. It was big. Like, feel me? If they like you, they like you. It's like any day you gotta play the role. Like, feel me? Is they gonna like you or they not? Even if they do like you, I mean, even if they don't like you, you can maneuver. And like, feel me? You just gotta know how to play this shit. This shit a game for real. 